Sorry about that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's, we're back with another edition of Quick Hits. It is good to be back. Uh, we're back two shows a day, every day, Monday through Saturday, and then one show on Sunday. Uh, please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. There's also a brand new channel, which we're going to be updating tomorrow with interviews and a piece on Jorge Castaneda, uh, the Texas boxing scene. So please like and subscribe and share the Texas boxing scene on YouTube as well. Um, also, there's a link for Taka. Uh, the Autism Community in Action, everything we make off the Texas uh, Boxing Scene YouTube page is going to go directly to Taka. Uh, so uh, please share it, like it, subscribe it, um, donate to Taka if possible. If, if not, if you don't have the funds, please share it. Now let's get into the fight. Uh, let's get into the news. So apparently it looks like we have news upcoming. This looks like it's going to happen. I've been skeptical that it was going to happen. I wasn't sure it was going to happen, but it is looking more and more like it's going to happen. Uh, the battle for undisputed, it said, Eddie Hearn said it should be ironed out over the next couple of days. We're looking uh, likely at Saudi Arabia on July 24th is the working date right now, but it could be either of the next two weekends, which would mean July 31st or the first week of August. So we're looking at the end of July, the last two weeks of July, or the first week of August, but no later than that. This looks like go. I mean, it looks like we're about three months out. Rough-ish, three and a half months out. Rough, you know, three to three and a half months out. Um, the site deal uh, gives the venue host the choice of the date. Um, so they get to pick. And this will be up against the Olympics, uh, so to speak. Um, the Olympics will be the same time. I, I don't know what to expect from the Olympics. I don't know what to expect from this event. I, I don't exactly know what's going on um, with with that. Robert McCracken works with the British boxing team. Unfortunately, he won't be able to do that. Uh, Eddie Hearns, he loves working with those kids, uh, but he's not going to be able to do that. Obviously, he's got a big commitment to AJ, um, which, you know, $15 million purse or whatever. They didn't, in this article, and I'm going to link the article, they didn't talk about the purse. I don't know what the purse is for either fighter. Um, we know it's 50-50, um, but it, they didn't mention any numbers. They didn't mention how big the site fee was. Um, but it, it said that it's gonna. it looks like it's a go. And they should have everything ironed out today, and maybe it'll be announced later in the week. It looks that way. It looks like we are going to get this fight. Um, July 24th, the 31st, or the first week of August is what we're looking at in Saudi Arabia. Um, Eddie Hearn, again, seems confident. He said that they don't have a choice, um, that whoever is putting up the money, and, and this is like a mafia deal. They won't say who it is or what it is, um, but they're saying is that they didn't, you know, Eddie and top rank, they don't have a choice, um, that the site gets to pick the, gets to pick the day. Whatever Saturday that is, but it's got to be one of those streaks, and, and they get to pick it. So Eddie can't move it around the Olympics. They don't have any. They don't have any, you know, any freedom there. Um, uh, I'll read it to you. It says it will depend on timings. The date we get given is what the fight is when the fight takes place, and the guys know it will be around the Olympics. It could be inappropriate, but it's the biggest fight in boxing and the biggest moment in Eddie's career, so we have to work it out. Um, Someone is spending a lot of money, so we have to go whatever they. So we have to go whatever they say, and it, that's true. I mean, somebody is paying millions, tens of millions, at least hundreds of millions. I, I don't know how much they're paying to have this event here, but you know, it's got two commas in it. I can tell you that. You know, it's probably got eight figures in it. Um, so they're gonna get to pick when the, when the fight is. 
because they're paying the big bucks for it. We said it will hold about 20,000 fans. Uh, but guys, this is big news. We're going to get this fight. Now, you guys know I'm picking Fury to win. I think Fury outclassed him. I, I think AJ is a bit overrated. He's like, I think AJ is a great champion. I, I think he's a great spokesman for, 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 for boxing. I think he's a great spokesman to have as a heavyweight champion. He's personable. He's likable. He's smart. He fights everybody. He doesn't duck or dodge in. No opponent. He's a great guy to have as a heavyweight champion. You know, he's a good-looking guy. He's a great mouthpiece. He's everything you'd want in a heavyweight champion. That being said, I think he's going to lose to Fury, and I think he's going to lose convincingly. Um, I don't know if Fury stops him. It depends on what Fury is in for. But, uh, you know, I said I think Wilder beats AJ. I think Usyk beats AJ. I think if Andy Ruiz got in shape, he'd beat AJ again. It's not that I think AJ is terrible. I just think all those guys beat him. Um, so I, I'm... 90, you know, I'm 99% confident that Fury wins this fight and we'll have an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. The first time we'll have a four belt unified undisputed champion in the four belt era. Um, so that's fun. Again, I'm picking Tyson Fury. Let me know what you guys think, but this looks like a go. Everything I'm hearing says that this fight, um, between Anthony Joshua, who holds the WBA, IBF, and WBO belts, will, and Tyson Fury, who holds WBC and lineal belts, well, it's a go. You know, both guys have agreed to terms. Um, the site fee is getting ironed. Uh, the, the, the location and the date's getting ironed down. And we should know maybe this week. But everything is agreed on. It's going to be either July 24th or the last week of July or the first week of August in Saudi Arabia. So, I mean, this is big news. Um, it's the biggest fight in boxing, and it's getting made. It's getting done. Um, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing and 3D Boxing Blog. Um, also, there's a, I'll put the link in the description to this. I'll be back tomorrow with two shows. Um, add more content to the Texas Boxing Scene channel as well. Please like and subscribe to that. Please also share the link in the page for Taka, talk about uh, the autism community in action. Please share, like, and share that. Subscribe to that. Uh, subscribe to that. Share it. Get it around. It's a, it's a worthwhile cause. It's uh, near and dear to the heart of 3D boxing. We'll, we'll leave it at that. This is National Autism Month. Um, yeah. Uh, it is April 19th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still on the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get Iron Boy in. Uh, the class of 2021. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.